Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 15th of August 2019 and the time is just gone 9.09 for the summer time. And this week's Chart of the Week is Copper. Uh, we can see here that the metal has been in a fairly clear downward trend uh, the last number of months. Since April we've, uh, we've been uh, pushing lower on the, uh, on the metal uh, and in fact the level it fell to at the beginning of the month uh, was a level last seen uh, in January of this year. So we're talking eight month lows for, for hit on the metal not too long ago. Um, and copper basically ties in with the with the um, with the kind of overall per the perception that the, the global economy is slowing down. Um, China is a major importer of metal. Uh, its manufacturing sector is in contraction. During the week, um, we saw industrial uh, industrial production numbers. And also fixed asset investment numbers out of China, which were also disappointing. Uh, only yesterday, uh, we saw a contraction in the German economy, a big manufacturing, uh, big manufacturing a country. This talk of a, of a recession, in, um, of a recession in Germany. Um, these are all feeding into the view that the global economy is slowing down. And if, the, if if that is the case, it's likely that we could see a, a fall in in demand for copper. That's what we're seeing. You know. That's why we saw copper at eight month lows only a few days ago. Now there is a small bit of good news. Uh, in the past 12 hours, um, we heard from President Trump, who tweeted out uh, to China's Premier Xi Jinping, uh, talking about the expressing concern for what's going on in Hong Kong, uh, and essentially stated that uh, if the U.S. and China want to strike a, a trade deal, there must be a humane. Uh, handling of the situation in Hong Kong, and even called for a private meeting between the two leaders, and that's you know that's just seen as, as at least as a step in the right direction. So the overall um, mood um, for financial markets is a bit more positive on the back of that. But who knows whether it's something will come of it or not is a different story. But for the time being, it seems to be it seems to have um, lifted spirits a little because they were quite negative and downbeat yesterday. Um, take a look at the price action. So it's in the clear. It's, it's in a fairly clear downward trend. Um, the market in the last few, after hitting an eight-month low, managed to kind of bounce higher. But um, you know, markets not moving straight lines. So traders are asking, asking themselves: Is this push higher? Just a temporary um, rebound before the market turns over on itself yet again. Looks to retest the recent lows in around the 254 area. And if, and if it does manage to break below that, it could take us back down towards the 250 region, 250 cents per pound that is. And, and if we go below 250 cents per pound, we could be looking at heading back down towards this area, this area here at 243 cents per pound. Now, this area at 254 cents per pound has acted as support on a number of occasions. Um, Essentially, uh, over the last couple of years, we've seen this region act as support. So, a break below 254 cents per, per, per pound on copper, on copper is likely to be um, likely, likely to be very significant. That being said, if the market ha has um, managed to hold above it on a few occasions, we could see the metal uh, we could see the metal maintain above these levels. So, if we do manage to actually press on higher from here. Um, resistance could be could, could be found from this in, in around this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, which comes into play at 266 cents per pound. We can see that the, this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, acted as both support and resistance not too long ago. And if a metric has acted as support and/or resistance not, not in the in the uh, in the recent past, it makes it more likely that it will do so in the near future. But there are obviously no guarantees. Uh, if we go below above 266 cents per pound, the 270 region, um, we saw a lot of consolidation uh, in around that area in the last few months. That area might act also might act as resistance. But in order for us to to kind of shake off or, or, or start to believe that the wider negative trend here uh, has come to an end, we'd really need to see the metal get above and close above on a daily basis above the 200 moving average with this red line here and that comes into play at 274 cents per pound we can see here there's a spike in uh, in mid july with the metal traded above the 200 moving average but it failed to actually close above it so we really need to see a close above that metric before we can think you know what the wider downward trend has come to an end and we and we, and we look and we can be kind of pressing higher so the downward trend is still very much in play and keep an eye out for the 254 cents per pound area. Um, 
just to, one, th one thing before I go, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMZ Markets, please feel free to leave review on the reviews. Thank you very much.